What's up, Carolers? So this morning I had a really brilliant idea, and um, it was after my maid brought me breakfast in bed, and after my hairstylist and my makeup stylist all came in and glammed me up, I was sitting in the makeup chair, and I was just watching this video by Vsauce, and the video was titled The Origins of the Napkin Ring. And I'm actually gonna leave an MLA citation right here because that actually inspired me to make this video, and I don't want people accusing me of like plagiarism or anything. So I was watching this video, and Vsauce was just talking about the napkin and how it has really impacted American culture and I think the other thing that has really impacted American culture is me so that made me think wow I just need to thank my parents because if it weren't for them then I wouldn't be here today you know I wouldn't be here to entertain all of you and just be such an icon in American history um, because in 10 years I probably will be in the history books while I'm still alive which is really impressive I think the only other person to do that was Amelia Bedelia and um, Franklin Roosevelt because he is on the dollar bill sorry I just went off on a tangent but um, long story short um, my mom is at work right now and I want to surprise her when she gets home with a brand new car I know what you guys are probably thinking like wow Caroline first of all that's so generous but second of all how can I help well um, you are obviously watching this video and giving me AdSense like that's obviously gonna help um, but also you, it's okay don't Venmo me uh, you don't have to send me any money to buy my mom a car um, just leave your name in the comments down below so I can be sure to include your name on the Christmas card so I'm going to the dealership right now I'm probably not gonna be filming in there because I don't want to be like that person you know but I just want to let you know that if you want to watch it then you're invited so come along congratulations congratulations so after I left my house, I totally realized that I don't have any money because I spent all my money to get cheek fillers and to get a brow lift at my plastic surgeon's office. So I decided just to go into my mom's room, take some of her money because she probably won't even notice, and I took a little bit extra so I could also buy some of my brother's gifts. So if you guys are wondering, um, I do have a P.O. box, so you probably are wondering like, whoa, Caroline, it's, this, it's the holiday season, can I send you gifts? Yes. Um, my P.O. box, I will leave the address down below, but um, things that I want include like a new Xbox or the Wii U, a DS with the Neopets game, some Nike shocks, a 100-piece coloring set, a Rubik's Cubes, and some walkie-talkies. So I just got back from the store and I think I found the most perfect car for my mom. Um, it did take a lot of negotiating because a lot of the cars were really ugly. A lot of them were just like really average middle class American family cars like you know the Toyotas, the Camrys, and the Alexises. But I think I found the most unique and perfect car for the most unique and average looking woman, my mother. Now before I show you all the car, I do want to let you guys know that I totally forgot that my mom doesn't even have her license. And it's not that she never wanted to have her license, it's mostly because she just, she, growing up she just had a butler to drive her everywhere and now she has a self-driving Tesla so she just sits in the driver's seat while her car just drives her to work every day. This car I'm giving her is vintage so I think I'm actually going to be giving her driving lessons along with giving her this car. So um, I'm going to give her that, I'm going to wrap it up when I get home and then I'm going to go into the store to get my brother some gifts with the, with the money I stole from my parents um, and then I'm gonna go home and surprise my mom so when I got home I couldn't find any wrapping paper so I looked in my mom's closet and oh my gosh I found some presents and then I remembered oh my god in 2006 I totally forgot that I didn't get to spend Christmas with my family my mom banned me because I got suspended from school for voicing my opinion on a school policy that jeopardized the safety and well-being of its students so I didn't get to celebrate Christmas and I didn't get Christmas gifts so I'm sitting on my bed and I'm about to open my Christmas gifts from 2006 that my mom forgot to give me. But before I do so, I do want to let you guys know some of my New Year's revolutions. So we all know that the New Year's in the holiday season is about giving thanks, giving back, um, giving back to like your friends by giving them presents and giving them money and then you know they're your real friend if they give you presents and then if they give you money and if they don't then they're not your real friend so if your parents don't like give you gifts or anything then you're not your real parents and you're probably adopted but another part of the holiday season is giving back and I'm giving back to myself by setting New Year's resolutions. so that's why I'm wearing gloves because one of my New Year's resolutions is actually to stop biting my nails and I have been biting down all 11 of my nails so much so that I've actually started biting down on my fingers so that's beside the point um, I'm just gonna get right into it and I think I'm gonna read the card that my mom wrote me from 2006 so this is what it says it says Caroline when you turn 18 you can finally get a nose job your nose looks like it's melting off your face thank you for that that's really nice um, except that I am 20 right now and my nose does not have a job it's still unemployed so I'm about to start opening these gifts but before I do so um, I hope that these gifts are really good and if not then just I'll, I'll be looking forward to all the gifts you guys are sending me in my P.O. Box. Once again, that is P.O. Box 10142, Columbus, Ohio, 43201. A MacBook? That's stupid. Didn't want that. So 
even though these Christmas gifts sucked, they sucked today and they sucked probably back in 2006, I'm still gonna be nice and I'm gonna do a little bit of community service and still give my mom her Christmas gift. So I um, I already wrapped it, but I'm gonna be waiting for her to get home from work because she is still at the lab. She's genetically modifying dogs' brains to speak English, Japanese, Chinese, Mandarin, Spanish, and she's working on teaching the dog Swahili's. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and um, teach you guys some tricks on the trampoline outside because I have been really practicing my kick flips. So it's four days later and um, my mom finally got home from work because sometimes she has to like spend the night at the lab because she's working nonstop with all of the dogs. So um, I'm going to go surprise her with her dream car. So everyone just be quiet. Shh. Don't make any noise. You're going to ruin the surprise. Hi mom. I have a surprise for you. Oh my do you want to come outside really quick? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Caroline, last time somebody did this to me, I woke up in Bermuda. Caroline, did you open up all your Christmas gifts? Wow, is that for me? Do you like it? Is this all I get? <laughs> Caroline's mom loves her new car. She took it for a spin and it's made her so dizzy that she hasn't been able to get out of bed for five days. Sad. Mm -hmm.